And if I can be totally honest, uh, last night getting this uh, whole message together was kind of difficult. Almost to the point to where I wanted to stay at home and I was a little, you know, wasn't feeling, feeling it, woken up early, loss of sleep. And, uh, but I remember the psalmist said, in the presence of the Lord, there's fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there's pleasures forevermore. So, you know, there may be some people in here that are down and out, still got their bills due, and still, you know, dealing with difficulties. But when we come into the presence of the Lord, we'll still have those same problems, but everything will seem to be okay. Amen. Uh, I'm going to be coming from Zechariah chapter 3, verse 1 and through 4. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and sta Satan standing at his right hand to resist him, or another word is, accuse him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee. O Satan, even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem, rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with the change of raiment. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for everything you've done today, O oh God. We thank you for being able to come in your presence, Lord Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for everything you're going to do today, O oh God. I ask that you anoint every ministry that takes forth today, Lord Jesus. Heal, O oh Lord Jesus, right now, God. I praise your name, Lord Jesus. Of myself, I can do nothing. It's you that doeth the work. And above all, let your perfect will be done. In Jesus' name, you may be seated. And if I could put a title... To this, it will be sure to get a change of clothes. We say, um, Romans 3 and 23 tell us, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So since we came out of our mother's womb, you know, we pretty much had a spot, a blemish on our clothing. Amen. And that stain was sin. Amen. And we would try, I would even try to, you know, try to get the stain out myself. I would, you know, probably try to use shout, but it was still there. Try to use Clorox bleach, but it was still there. Try to do everything, try to do every work, but it was still there. But the Bible says, but we are not saved by works, lest any man should boast, but it is a gift of God. Hallelujah. So we have this stain, and bleach and detergent is not getting it out, amen. So we need something to get it out. Galatians 4 and 4, but when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Amen. 1 Peter 1, 18 through 19. For so much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold for your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb with without blemish and without spot. Ain't that something he didn't have a spot, nor did he have a blemish. Hallelujah. So he can transmit that, that same spotless and blemishness to us. Amen. Hallelujah. And Hebrews 10 and 10 through 12 says, By which we are all sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all, and every priest standing daily and ministering offerings, oftentimes the same sacrifices, but which can never take away sins. But this man, after he'd offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. So therefore, the stain that we have on the stain that we have on our garments is washed away by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Revelation seven and ten. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest, and he said unto me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. So we have a stain. Amen. And we have the, I guess, the detergent to remove that stain. And that stain is, and that blood, I mean, and that detergent is the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, some might ask, how do you get the blood applied to your life? How do you get washed over? And uh, I mean, Hebrews chapter 9 says, 
the blood is administered through water. Amen. So if you want to change your clothes, the Bible says you have to repent. You have to be baptized in Jesus' name. And you have to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost by the evidence of speaking in tongues. That's the way you're going to get the change of clothes. And I pray that this blesses you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Why don't you lift your voice together unto the Lord. Clap your hands unto the Lord. Lift a shout of praise to go along with it. Just fill this place with the worship of God's people. Presence of God's spirit. Oh, Lord, we worship you, Jesus. God, we exalt you and we praise you.